What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video, I want to tell you everything I hate about my 2022 ZL1 Camaro. So if you've been a long OG subscriber to the channel, I made another one with the three things I hate about my Camaro SS1 LE. Today, circling back around to that video, different car. So I had this car for about three months now, 2022 ZL1 Camaro and i'm familiar with it and that's long enough for me to figure out what i love about the car and what i hate in this video i'm about to tell you all that i hate about this car so fasten your seat belts time to put my flame suit on so before we jump into today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell browse the channel let's jump into it So the 2020 Camaro SS1 LE that I had, the, it was three or four things that I hated the most. And that was that between 16 and 19 miles an hour, you can't shift. It makes you shift to fourth gear unless you just go past that miles per hour. It's a weird thing. This car has that, but the gearing is different. So in first gear, you don't have to worry about that. Another thing was the ergonomics. This car has the same ergonomics and cheap buttons and... uh. Just like reaching out the window and stuff like that. I don't know. Go watch the video. I can't remember. But I'm about to hone in on what I hate most. Everything I hate about this car. So fasten your seatbelts. And before you get sand in your anatomy, chill. I don't hate the car. I wouldn't have bought the car if I hated the car. I got to give this disclaimer because people get mad in the comment section. So I don't hate the car. It's a $70,000 car. I, like I touched Joe the car. I had a Camaro before this. Don't hate the car. This is YouTube, you know what we do on here. So let's jump into it. So, what do I hate about this car? I don't hate anything about this car. But, if I had to make a list, like I, since I got the car, I kept the list of notes open, and it's only two things that I could come up with, and they are not deal breakers by any means. It's just, out of all the things about this car, these are the things I hate most first world problems I know right so let's get into that what do I hate most about my ZL1 this is the first thing that I noticed so whenever I buy a car you get your settings right all that good stuff and you know just getting everything personalized so you never have to set that crap again like programming your garage door opener the ZL1 does not have a home link in here I don't have the three buttons in the roof to open my garage first world problems like I said but this car was $70,000 and to open my garage let me let me show you all and there's a reason for that too and we're going to get into it right now so up in here this is where like the home link would normally be on the sun visor somewhere up here but we have nothing this is my sunroof on star and this what is that other stuff but this is my garage opener this old 1980 lift master rectangular thing i had to buy one of these too i'm like this is ah. yeah so this is that's how i open the garage the camaro doesn't have it some cars actually have it on the mirror here and since they got this fancy rimless mirror that also doubles as one of these let me close my door this is why we can't have that in the Camaro my blazer has that the Camaro does not dang but this is why boom this is a, a rear camera we are not able to have that because of the rear camera so yeah you flip this and it's a regular mirror flip it on it's the electric mirror and speaking of that this mirror is another thing that I hate. First world problem. So this is one of those things that I just thought I wanted 
I just knew I needed like, oh man, when I had my 2020 SS, I'm like, dang, they got that, the camera for the rear view mirror. Like, I want that too. But now that I have it, I don't even use it to be honest. And this is why I don't use it. Like when I'm driving, uh, the glare from the sunroof while it's open, it is right on the camera where I need to see. And in order to rid that, cause I'm kind of in the shade right now behind this building. And during normal driving, this is a, it's a glare right across from my settings. So I generally ride with this just as a regular mirror. But also when I, if this is on at nighttime, which I turn it off at nighttime, like, you know, when you have cameras, there's flickering from lights in there because of the frame rate. And it may, well, it's not gonna show now cause I don't have any uh, LEDs in my rear view, but the lights, the the flash, the frequency of the lights in here it just flickers and it's quite annoying. Like it takes my eyes off the road cause you see something flash on here. It's like, man, what was that? And I noticed that with driving under street lights too, like the, the flashing on here is kind of distracting. So I generally just turn that off. If I have my sunroof open, this is just a regular mirror. Nighttime, this is just a regular mirror. I love the concept of it, but this angle with the sunroof, it just makes it to where I don't want to drive with it on. It's a nice feature to have, but yeah, I don't really use it. Thought I would love it. One more thing, that forward collision warning, whenever I'm on the residential street, definitely my street, and even at my dad's house. 5,000 RPM, I'm like what? That's crazy. And I'm on gas. Forward collision warning. <laughs> That forward collision warning always comes on when I'm coming down my street. Not about to hit anything, not even close, but it's always activating to get that bland red light and the dee dee dee. Those always come up. It just happened as I was on my way home from making this video. And to be honest, that is it. <laughs> like that's that's all I can, that's the only thing negative I can say about this car. It drives phenomenally. And I'm willing to say that this is the best driving car under a hundred grand. And the SS1 LE is the best driving car under 50 grand that you can get brand new. Like there's not a driving experience to this level for this amount of money. And even with the ZL1, like I said, I had the crappy system before. Now I have Bose. And the Bose is pretty good too, it's loud. That was my main problem with my last system, like riding with the windows down, it wasn't loud enough like music too like yeah the engine is good the exhaust is good but i like music too and like the interior like it's still the same cheap buttons but that doesn't bother me because i'm used to the car now like this this is more premium than before it's a nicer place on the, the interior but yeah there's nothing to complain about like absolutely nothing um yeah man that's what i hate about this car nothing absolutely nothing those two minor things that, that was all i could come with up with and it took me like a couple months to come up with that so there you have it very minor annoyances car looks great drives even better this thing is loaded it's a z01 the base z01 is a fully loaded car so i got no complaints so if there's anything that you hate about your car let me know in the comments down below because i can't find anything with this car i don't know if i'm just a, a huge fan of it or but I, I don't think there's anything to hate about this car being familiar with it like the ergonomics that's still a thing like i sometimes hit the buttons some of those carry over some of them don't but you get used to it owning the car and i'm going into two years of ownerships with camaro so you get used to it so at first like the the visibility like that's that doesn't bother me at all that's it's a non-factor to me the visibility the interior quality is better in this one it's, it's okay it's not the worst i've seen the buttons do need a little work though and where they put stuff is terrible it's like man gm came to the party drunk that day but other than that fantastic car no garage whatever i still got a button like eh. That's all I could come up with, folks. That's <laughs> nothing to hate about this car. Phenomenal. So, yeah, let me just get in here and drive, man. Like, it's a nice day out here in Michigan. I just ate some food, and the food was terrible. Sorry to announce that. 
but as I was eating food at this restaurant, I was ordering food at another restaurant just because the food was that bad. Never done that before, so I just left the restaurant and I'm about to go to another restaurant to pick up some better food. I ate it all because I don't like to waste food that way. Uh, Could have left it there, but I want to just leave you all with that. This highest syllable approval from Q. This Camaro, this DL1, they they got a lot of things right with this. The base level Camaros, you do sacrifice some things, I will admit, but that's the Camaro. That's that's what you get yourself into buying a General Motors product because they tend to do that from Chevy all the way up to Cadillac. I guess while I'm here, I'll show you the things. Well, ergonomics, all right, here we go. We got the auto rev match. Those are on the back of the steering wheel. Don't like that being there. And the gear, or not the gear, the drive modes, they're right here, right where you might rest your wrist. Traction control, that's just a terrible place to put stuff. Not really cup holders. You got one full size cup holder and like a European, like Coke bottle beer, glass bottle holder right here. And the trunk opening. Since we're talking about things, this, this, this is the, this is all I got, folks. That's that's all I could do. It's the best you could do about what he hates about the Camaro. The opening of the trunk. I can't get a lot of big stuff in there. It's a big, deep trunk, but the opening is awkward. That's what I mean. They came to the party drunk. Like, dang, y'all really designed it. Also, we got this wireless charger behind the front seats. This is like the most shallow thing. Your phone is going to slide right off here. I can guarantee that. Let me grab my phone real quick. My phone don't even fit in here, man. Like, it's an iPhone 11. Like, it'll slide right off. Like, yeah. And why is it back here? But none of these things will deter me from buying a Camaro. Now, I will say the visibility that gets a lot of people because initially it's less, you see less, but I explained. I got a couple of videos talking about the visibility. Doesn't bother me, but on the test drive, when you're in the car for 10 minutes, it, it could be intimidating, but it's, it's fine. So, there you have it. Everything I hate about the Camaro. Please do not get your undergarments in the bunch, folks. But I'm going to leave you all with that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel, and I'll check you all out on the next video. Peace out.